what everyone is seeing of Jerry Harris from the outside view, from social media, is a completely different person from when you actually know him. Yes, he might be charming and funny and lovable and also be engaging in sexual activity with children. My first indication that there was something going on was I found a, a series of text messages on Charlie's phone um, with Jerry Harris. I feel like I, I was attuned to the fact that they were friends with him, but I wasn't aware that there was something inappropriate about that relationship. That caused me to sort of delve deeper with Charlie and um, look in his Snapchat and things like that and see that there was, it was more than just text messages. Jerry would send me photos and videos of himself, send me obviously nude pictures of himself and like saying all of the things that like he like wants to like do to me and stuff like that. If I didn't like comply with her, I'd do it. He'd be like, oh, I will like block you or unadd you. And like, I don't like when people are mad at me, so I was trying to please him. He's asked me for nudes, I think maybe two or three times, and every single time I kind of, I just shut him down and just said no. He said a couple weird things to me before, but it nearly wasn't to the extent that, like, what happened to Charlie. It was super uncomfortable for me, especially at competitions, because when I would see him, like, I just really wouldn't want anything to do with him because I know what his motives would be. He would, like, try to be, like, go somewhere with me and, like, hook up with him, and I'd be like, no, I don't feel comfortable with that. I made the report about Jerry Harris, and that was in early May. And I guess I just made the assumption that somebody with USASF was doing something about the Jerry Harris stuff, um, because I did receive a confirmation that they had received my report back in May, but I didn't hear anything else from them um, until early July, when I, I think I got a, an email from Amy Clark saying, would, there, would it be possible for us to get together on the phone and talk about this? I'm kind of confused. So it was kind of at that point that I realized that nothing had been done on USASF's part at all. It, it really made me realize that there was, there was nobody that had my back in this situation, that um, I was really the only person that was looking out for my kids. I would not be putting myself out there and doing all this stuff and literally losing my friends about this for no reason. 